The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union with joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It is given as the foundation of family life in which children may be born and nurtured and in which each member of the family in good times and in bad may find strength, companionship and comfort and grow to maturity in love. And so Matthew, will you take Gemma to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and protect her and forsaking all others, be faithful to her? as long as you both shall live. I will. Gemma, will you take Matthew to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. I, Matthew, take you, Gemma, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Gemma, take you, Matthew, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death. <laughs> Left to us. <laughs> She's doing really fantastic, you know, and I, I'll take my hat off to you. And Gemma, you should be proud of you, not only being proud of you. Thank you. Proud of you. <laughs> I have got a special amount of love for Matt. Uh, I won't do it straight away. Is the car to my daughter's store that I know she's got. I didn't know anybody that attacked her. And then it came along like a nightly shine, I don't know. There's another son to me, there'll never be a son, but I'll never ever do it any harm. He's got somebody on his side of me. Likes that, you mum and dad, firstly. Anna and Paul. Yeah, for everything you've done for me and everything you've done for us. Uh, I've come from a fantastic family and the opening I've had that I'm still having, I'm still felt like a kid. <laughs> and, uh, it's been amazing and I hope you both know that I recognise that. I really do. Yeah. Thanks for your continued support you've given throughout my life and everything you've done for me and Jenna and everything you've done to make this wedding possible. I love you both to bits. And uh, I'd also like to thank Jenna's parents, Sean and Dawn. You've always treated me as one of your own, and I'll always appreciate that. Thanks for bringing our daughter into the world, and most importantly, thanks for letting me marry her today. Gemma is an absolute diamond, it's all down to you too, everything. Yeah. Really, I'm marrying my best friend. You are. We've, we've done everything together festivals, travelling, we've done countless nights out, everything else in between, and our favourite thing. Sitting and doing all that. We've had a great life and we can't wait to continue it as husband and wife. We, uh, the party has calmed down a little bit since uh, our bins come into the world and everything's changed a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah. You know? Gemma has one of the sweetest souls and I think everyone here today can agree on that. She's loving, caring, extremely considerate, funny, and a little crazy. Okay, a lot crazy. <laughs> I genuinely don't think there's anyone better suited in this world for Matt other than her. Mainly because I don't think there's anyone on this planet that could put up with it. <laughs> He's very lucky to have found his Matt. Someone who loves him unconditionally and will always care for him. Someone who blessed us all when she brought baby been into our lives. Couldn't be prouder, stood here today, saying these words. I hope you know how much I appreciate it. You've been there for me throughout my toughest moments and you continue to offer support. I cried when you told me you were having been and I was only when you asked me to be best man. I'm so proud of you mate and I couldn't be happier standing here today. I want to close this speech by talking about Matthew and Gemma's effect. They're a couple who don't use things by the book. They have their own unconventional way of loving each other and that's what makes them unique. Despite being as wild as one another, they somehow managed to balance each other out and they both share a special gift of being young at heart. I've watched their relationship grow throughout the years, from Gemma practically stalking Matt in the beginning, to buying their first house together and travelling to Southeast Asia. Yeah. You'll continue to grow as individuals whilst becoming stronger as a couple. 
Please can all raise a glass in celebration of Matthew and John Nelson. We have come together to witness the marriage of Matthew and Gemma, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It is given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the church. Marriage is a sign of unity and loyalty, which all should uphold and honor. It enriches society and it strengthens community. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. Well, in the presence of God and before this congregation, Matthew and Gemma have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They declare their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. And therefore I proclaim that they are husband and wife. Let's give them an applause. You may kiss the bar. Would you bless this man and this woman, made in your image, who today become a sign of your faithful love to us in Jesus Christ our Lord. By your Holy Spirit, fill Matthew and Gemma with wisdom and hope that they may delight in your gift of marriage and enrich one another in love and faithfulness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please in both body and soul. I see you again. We just got married and it's strange. I don't exactly how I feel. It's incredible. And I do hope that this feeling never changes. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, you're really married, Matt. Brilliant. I know we're the last of this speech, but my God. You can say you're right now. Right in the same sense, you're welcome. Okay, so I've been going on and on. I can explain everything that's going on. The ties are dressing now. That was a gender just messing around. And all this wedding on my side of the bed. What's the list and what's the takeaway? Don't miss the gender because it is a wedding day. Why is it nobody flipping it? Clap it!